So again, welcome everybody. Uh, we're moving on with the program, inshallah. We plan on having you guys out of here on, an e and on this beautifully but cold evening and time to get home to your warm beds. So inshallah, we're going to move quickly uh, and efficiently. Next up, inshallah, we're going to have a welcome speech by the president of Majlis al-Shura, the Amir, uh, Abdul Hafid, the Jameel. I would call him Abu Diyad, because he is just like a father to me. Please give him a round of applause. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salatu salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are delighted to have, to have you here to participate in our 26th year event of service to the community. We are honored to have each of you in this event. Many of you have made a huge effort to join us tonight. On behalf of us all in Mijil Sishura, we are deeply appreciative and offer you our most grateful welcome. This 26th year of Mijlis service to the community comes in a time of serious challenges. A major transformation in the society and a major change in the course of the political spectrum of the U.S. We are indeed in the middle of a big change. It is up to us. It is up to us now that we just talk about the changes or we influence the change towards the positive direction. We need to start by influencing the way we look at things, the way we look at what is happening around us. We have to look at how we are dealing with what is happening to us or what will happen to us also. We need to start by also analyzing what is going on really. There is one time one of the teachers asked her students to define or to tell her what they want to become in the future. Every student gave some type of profession that they want to assume in their future, except one student. He responded by, I don't know. That student attracted the attention of the teacher. And she followed him and she focused on him all the time to make him really understand that he needs to have a plan for his future. The question is, what is our teacher? Who is our teacher? Our teacher is life itself. And life will focus on us as long as we do not define the future, we do not plan for our future and the future of our community. The future of our community resides in our hands right now as a Muslim community, as a minority, along with other minorities. The challenges that we have are beyond probably the scope of many of us. And we have to deal with that. So we need to learn that we have a duty to work with others and to plan with others. And if we do not plan, then somebody else will plan for us or we will be in the plan of others. If we don't have our own agenda, we will be on the agenda of others. And that is why it is needed for us today more than any other time, in this stage of life more than any other time, that we as Muslims have to embrace each other's opinion, idea, work together and see the way out of this situation. It is a big challenge for us, but the most 
challenge that we face is mainly our own. So our main priority concern as a challenge is the safety of our community. Hate crimes surge before or have surged before the elections, that is during the campaign. A campaign that divided, divided the American society and a post-election that persists on wounding, wounding the society more. And our challenge is how, as a Muslim community, be a part of healing the wounds of the society and urging those who started the injury so that they really look into what they did based on the violations of the constitutional rights of the minorities. I'll just state one, one quote from one of those supporters of the elected president. Just to understand where their goal is, where the situation is moving. And he said, I am, of course, against any violence against these people. That's what he wrote. However, I do think you should yell at them. We want them to feel that everything around them is against them. And we want them to be afraid. That is the plan. That is what really they want, is to make us feel that we are under a lot of pressure and we are not at ease in our lives. So we have to say that our constitutional rights have to be preserved. We must, as Muslims, defend the Constitution. And we must see that the future of our community, that the future of the minorities, that the future of this nation and the society in general is not between the hands of just a few people. Our constitutional right is at stake and we must work in the framework of that constitution. What should we do as Muslim community what are the things that the Majlis itself is assuming? There are things that we have to work on. We have to build the bridge with other communities. We have to extend our hands to other faiths. We have, we have to work amongst ourselves. So there are a few things that I would like just to mention in here to ensure the safety of all Muslim community members and all, let's not say that we're concerned only about Muslims. We are concerned about all minorities, whatever they are. Why? Because as Muslims, we are responsible not only about ourselves, but we're responsible about others also. So these are things that we would like to do. These are things that we would like that the Majlis is supported in doing them. One, based on situation that is going on, we would like to ensure that there is a complaint or there is a hotline where they report if anyone is subjected to a hate crime, it is reported through the hotline. There is no, no need for a person to look for phone numbers and so on. A phone number that is easy to dial. A website that is easy to achieve or to reach or to open. Those are things that are, they should be common in our community so that it is easy for us to know what is going on. A training, we need also to have, our community members are not only trained in how to defend themselves or how to secure their mask. It is not just that. 
but how to be able to analyze the situation and be and stand up for what is right using the peaceful, the constitutional, and the legal ways. So a plan for and workshops in the message is underway. We already started working on it. Some of the message already had that workshop. Some others we will be working to schedule them, inshallah. We need to strengthen and we will be strengthening our alliances with our partners and friends from the interfaith community as well as other organizations with whom we share common grounds, common principles, common interests, and common concerns. We also continue to work with the local elected officials and maintain open challenge cha channels and participations in programs of importance to our community and to the society in general. In this point here, I really would like to say that I commend, as uh, in fact, I commend Mayor de Blasio for his support, for his standing with the Muslim community as well as all the other elected officials who stood with us in support of our cause. We strengthen also the message relationship with their local precincts. There are several messages who have good relation with their precincts or with the local precincts, but we need all messages to have good relation and they should be a part of the community affairs meetings and the community affairs programs where they be a part of making the decision or at least knowing what's going on in the neighborhoods. The other thing is that we will continue defending the Muslim constitutional rights and work with the legal organizations that support the Muslim cause. We will discuss within our community and with our partners and friends the courses of actions through some types of meetings so that we know where we're heading and what way we are taking in reference or in regards to how we deal with what is happening or what will happen in the future if anything comes in the way of the communities. We will be, again, we will be looking towards working with all communities. These are things that we have to do as, as Muslim community. As Majlis Ashura, we will be working on these items. In addition to that, there are internal situations that, that concern the Muslim community in particular that does not have much to do with politics. These things include, for example, the programs for the youth where our youth have to be also embraced in the messaging, where messaging have to have programs and have to have certain activities so that the youth are not left out. We are concerned probably with the youth that goes to the message, but Business Ashura, along with the other organizations, will work on how we should attract and how we should work with the youth who are not coming to the message at all and who are left out to deal with drugs and with other things that we should be as Muslims concerned about in this society. We have a lot of things that we need to do, but inshallah, with your help and support, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and with, the, with our alliances with our partners, we will be able to reach the goal that this society is preserved and the rights of all ethnicities, the rights of all minorities, are respected. A unified voice along the Muslim community or among the Muslim community is needed, but a unified and united work and voice among all the minorities is also very, very well needed at this time. And we look forward to achieve that in the short run.
in the most in, in the in the short in the short time frame. We will be reaching out to all our friends and to all our partners so that we put some type of agenda for meeting and analyzing how we should move forward. While we are doing this, I just want to conclude with one example or with one story that was related in the hadith, the tradition of the prophet. Peace be upon him. It was stated that the example of one who stands for the cause of the others is similar to those who are listed in this example. There were some people in a boat, some of whom occupy the upper deck and some occupy the lower deck. Whenever those in the lower deck need water, they have to go to the upper deck to retrieve it. So some of them said, why don't we make a hole in our deck so we do not harm the people of the upper deck? Well, if the people do not stop, the person or the people who want to make the hole in the, in the boat or in the ship, everybody will be drowned and the ship will be gone. But if they stop that, then everybody will be safe and we need to work to stop all evil from wherever it comes. We stop here. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Okay, inshallah, as we move on, that was inshallah very moving and on the, on the moving speech by our Amir, our President of Medicine Shura. And we hope inshallah that we can follow this lead and work together to move forward. Next up is a short slideshow depicting what the Medicine is, inshallah. As many of us still don't quite understand, inshallah is going to help make things clearer. So, for that, please give your attention to the board right behind me, because I'm not there. ITV, Call of Peace, Save.